Hey there everybody, this is Ira and I'm back once again with another new little indie game. This one is called While True Learn and uh, I'm pretty excited about this one actually. I have been wanting to check this one out for a while. It came out in January of this year, 2019, and uh, it's in the sort of genre of games that teach you how to, how to code or they teach you how computer systems work and this one claims to kind of teach you how machine learning works which is pretty cool um this is a a blind first look i've just opened this up for the first time i'm very excited as usual we are going to take a peek at the settings before we do anything else they have a colorblind mode which is great i am not going to disable the tutorial uh, we've got separate sound uh controls which is great um they've got Looks like they only have... Oh, no, there we go. It was just loading slowly. So they've got a whole bunch of languages here. Oh, my goodness. Quite a lot of languages. That's awesome. Um, and they're even recruiting people to uh, translate it into more... more um, random theme. Interesting. Uh, into more languages. And, yeah. So I, I have no idea what the gameplay is actually going to be like. So hopefully that will be all we need. Although I will say uh, it feels like the mouse sensitivity is a little bit low and I don't see a way to increase that. That's a shame. Uh, this is set to the, the full resolution that my monitor can handle, so it should have the same mouse sensitivity as I'm used to, but it feels a little, just a little bit, a little bit less than that. Interesting. Uh, in any case, there's all kinds of other stuff here, but we're not going to bother with all that. We are just going to jump in and start a new game, and we are going to start the tutorial for sure, because I have no idea what I'm doing. I don't know anything about machine learning. I mean, there we go. To become a programmer, you must master the, your art of turning the computer on. Hmm. Click on the flashing triangle and drag to connect the power outlet with your PC, screen, and keyboard. Press power. Congratulations, you're almost a programmer now. Okay. Click and drag the flashing triangles. Oh, do I just... There we go. Turn that on, turn that on. Wait, what happened? Oh, press power. Got it. We did it! Everything is getting electricity. Spectacular! I beat the game! We did it! <laughs> okay, I guess we manually move this forward. Oh no! Programmer's got a bug! Reaching for coffee. It's always gotta be coffee, right? But you already have the coffee in your hand there, friend. So you put it back down and then pick it back up. Going to get some more coffee, I guess. <gasps> but the cat has noticed something. And while the human makes the coffee. The cat approaches the computer, does some quick typing, as cats are, are so famous for doing. <gasps> oh my goodness! Build successful! Kitty. You are a good kitty. <laughs> oh my goodness! Meow? Hey, what did you do? Did you do that? Holy zeros! If only I could understand what this cat has to say. Meow? Oh. You can understand what your cat has to say. Cats don't communicate verbally. Cats communicate non-verbally. You gotta pay more attention to their facial expression, body language. Never mind, it's a video game. I guess we'll have to fi figure, find a way to recognize your speech. <laughs> Goal, cat speech recognition. To-do list, Google it on cat overflow. Oh, sorry, Google it, not Google it. Oh my goodness, no. That's a cue. Ah, continue. And to your nickname, I'm gonna go with the standard. Ira. How to recognize animal speech? Oh, how much reading am I going to have to do my voice? I'm going to lose my voice real fast. Hey everyone, can you believe my cat? That little devil has debugged my code again. He definitely has something to say, so I decided to make some sort of uh, system algorithm which would help me understand him. Give me advice, wish me luck maybe. P.S. I'm not insane, my mom had me tested. Mm -hmm. Dr. Coder says, don't rush ahead of yourself. Making a device that will be able to detect the cat would be a nice start. You can work with video sounds, etc. when the time is right enough. Hey, a couple of days ago, I've been reading about how expert system can be applied for detecting animals and writing chatbots. Newspaper is called Deep News. I'll be sending you my copies once I'm done with them. Okay, here we go. Welcome to your workspace. This is where programming, magic, and bugs, mostly bugs, is porn. To begin, drag an expert system node from the list on the right. Okay, expert system. Got it. Drag the connection line from the starting node on the left to the expert system node on the right. If you want to delete the connection, Press your mouse over, place your mouse over the line and press the right mouse button. Okay, right mouse button to delete. Boom. We got a connection. I guess we connect everything up. Extra some photos with cat, photos with no cat. Okay. Quick test run to see if the scheme works properly. Can do that. 
So photos are coming from the camera, going through the expert system, which is detecting which photos have a cat and which photos do not have a cat. Okay. Looks like we can speed it up. We can. There we go. Success. Final result. I got a medal. <laughs> Time spent. Okay. No, blah, blah, blah. I don't care about all that kind of stuff. Hey again, I've tried that expert system and it hardly makes any sense. Squares are floating from left to right. Is that what's the fuzz is all about the machine learning? Goodness. I don't know if this was written by somebody who, who's not a native English speaker or if it's supposed to be some kind of jargon or what. It's very confusing to read. Are you guys actually working there? This is called visual programming, my fellow dude. Hmm. Yes, this is how it's supposed to work. The expert system analyzes your data input from the camera and checks if there's a cat on them. No, it's not what machine learning is all about. It will get hardcore soon enough. I'm not very good at it yet, apparently. When do I start to actually building... <laughs> when do I start to actually build a cat translator? Don't rush it, friend. You gotta master your machine learning ninja skills first. I'm working as a freelancer. The amount of contracts is crazy. I'll forward you some jobs I don't have time for. It will help you get on your feet and earn some cat bucks as well. Check your mail now. P.S. You're still paying for the servers, though. <laughs> Okay. Oh my goodness, my voice is already gone. Hey, I remember. It's auto help for each new technology. Turn it on for you. Probably want to change your password. My cat talks one, two, three is pretty obvious. <laughs> no, I refuse. Test tree. Map of your progression in the game. Vertical progression. Story quest, horizontal branches are optional. Okay. I'm not gonna read all of this, friends. My I'm gonna my voice is gonna I'm gonna lose it. Still got the allergies. Okay. So I will get 350 cat euros if I complete this. Public school, summer exams are passed. Process the results and predict which of the students will be able to enter the MIT. Ooh, the MIT. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and guess that it was just written by a non-native speaker and that's fine. But I am, as I've mentioned many times before uh, on, my, on my channel, I am a writer and an editor. Okay, seems simple enough. You want the exam results to go here, the green results are gonna go here, blue results are gonna go here, or anything that's not green will go here, but we've only got green and blue. Seems simple enough, very basic logic. I guess, do it. Do we need another one? No, because we don't have any red. Yeah, we really don't need this, how fast can we make this go? <laughs> It's not like we have to really interfere with it, so. Release the program to complete the task. Release. We did it! 308 cat euros. <laughs> okay. Errors in database. We have some errors in our questionnaires data. We can't solve the problem by ourselves. Please fix it. Efficiency is measured not just in money, but with metals. Other oh, metals. Yes. Get a metal your scheme has to meet respective time and node limits. You can improve your result later on. I'm not going to worry about that at all. Okay. Trash can destroys elements. Uh, no matter how many trash cans you place, they will account for one node in the node's limit. Again, I don't care about, uh, you know, efficiency and high scores and all that kind of stuff. In the real world, real data sets have lots of errors. Filtering out errors is a very important skill for all data scientists. Ah, so there is some real, real world uh, information here. All right. I don't want blue ones. They want red and green. So we're gonna send blue to the trash. And then everything else here. Do it up. Pretty simple so far. Makes me feel smart, which I appreciate. <laughs> I always appreciate anything that makes me feel smart. There we did, we did it. Uh release. Yay! I'm rich! <laughs> Okay. Um. Oh, we're going up. This is the start. Ancient times, 1936-1960. Okay. Um. I guess this is the next one. I guess this is the next one. It's a little bit unclear, but I have metals on these ones, so. Okay, I see the green line. There we go. I understand now. Job, wait, private. The history of expert systems. Okay, so there's just, this looks like this is just some educational stuff, which is cool, but I'm not gonna read it right now. Found some new type of errors, please update your program. It'd be easier if you use the previous version of the code. Oh, deep news. Non-neural artificial intelligence. Okay. X 
expert system as a deterministic algorithm, which reproduces the decisions of a real person. The very first chatbot was created in 1966. It worked horribly. <laughs> very interesting. Okay, you can reuse schemes from earlier tasks. Cool. Okay. I have to read quietly a little bit here. Um, wait, I didn't read it well enough, did I? <laughs> Red else divide. Red there. Else there. I guess. Yeah, that works. Cool. So far, this is very simple, but I'm sure it will get a lot more complicated than this, so. Okay. Uh, release. Yay, I'm rich! Super rich. What can I do with all this money? Eliza, world's first chat. Ah. Okay, now we've got some side quests here. I'm not gonna go uh, to the side quests for the purposes of this video. We're just doing a first look. We're doing a quick peek. How to recognize a cat in the picture. So where to detect the cat without using expert systems? Works for texts, but with pictures, not so much. Furthermore, the cat just wants it still. Okay, it does not try decision trees. I like expert systems, but on steroids. If you feel comfortable, try SIF. This little devil is way more effective with pictures. Works nicely when paired with other algorithms. Or you can use nails or glue or something. <laughs> it's just a cat, it won't fight you back. Oh my goodness, you've never met a cat, have you? They will fight you back. They will fight back, friends. Different nodes have different processing rates. This parameter will influence the efficiency of your schemes. Icons on the right indicate the amount of time required for a node to process one element of data. Okay, oh goodness. This node compares output parameters with each element's color. Yeah, this is what we've already been doing, basically, right? Oh no, okay. The element color... I have to think and read at the same time, my friends. So I'm gonna get a little bit spacey here. I apologize if I go quiet for a moment while I think this through. Usually I, I understand what I read very quickly, but if I have to read it out loud, it completely messes up my ability to understand. If the element color is equal to only one socket's color, the element moves to that socket. If an element's color satisfies both conditions or doesn't satisfy any of them, it goes to a random socket. Okay. Ah, I see. Simple enough. It's actually easier to figure it out when you look at it than not. So, if it's red, it will always go here. If it's blue, it will always go here. And if it's neither, so if it's green, it'll go randomly between them. And since I want green in both, that works. Whee! Look at those bars fill up. I love it. It's very satisfying. I did it! <laughs> So yeah, and we can go to the sides and do these, these uh, side quests, and I will go back on my own time and do it. I definitely am going to be playing through the rest of this uh, of this game on my own, because this is something I've been excited about for a while. I like the idea of visual programming as well. Um, but for now, we're just going to go, we're going to plow straight ahead. Illuminati Origins. Oh my goodness. I study manuscripts and books, ancient manuscripts and books, in order to figure out the true story behind the Illuminati Secret Society. You need to recognize all the triangular shapes in these documents to solve the puzzle. Can you design a program that would do that for me? It needs to recognize triangles. Okay, to increase, decrease and increase speed, click a button on the screen. Oh yeah, I have already figured that out, friends. <laughs> this one, compare shapes. This is gonna be the same thing. So we want triangles. Everything else in the trash. Triangles here. That trash can down there, make it, make it nice and pretty. And that's it. Still very, very, very simple. Which is, which is fine. I don't want to feel like a fool in this video that I'm making for you lovely folks. <laughs> I wish I could make it go faster, honestly. I'm sure there will come a point where I need to pay attention to more stuff. And so I, I, uh... There we go, okay. Um, oh, they only needed 17 triangles. Well, that's fine then. Um... Money spent. Oh, okay. I earned I earned more than I spent. That's fine then. I earned. Oh my goodness! I'm super rich. What can I do with all this money? 
Working for the man feels too easy, boring, or soul-sucking. Aim for the sky and become a CTO of a startup. In the world of savage market laws, it's either sink or swim. You get rich or bite the dust is worth trying anyway. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm all set. Um, let's do, let's do maybe one or two more. And then I'll probably let this go so that you reach the end of the epoch. Click one of the banners to proceed further in the story. Oh. If I want gold, I have to go back and do a side quest. Well, then let's go back and do a side quest after all. How about Med X? We are a cargo, cargo transportation company and are now working passionately on improving our service. Our cargo distribution system is old and works badly. It often fails. We want you to automate the process and make an algorithm which will sort the goods by their characteristics. It's very crucial for the efficiency of our deliveries. High sorting accuracy is very important to us. Yes, 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 I, I accept. So what do we want here? We want uh, reds and greens here and here, blues and greens here. So um, basically. Hmm. Do we want to... Just thinking, because I want to split greens to go everywhere. But reds are also going to go to two places. And I think I can only connect these to one. Yeah. So actually, I think I need one of these. Um, so I want... Blue to go here. And everything else to go here. Hmm. All right, I'm puzzling through this. This one's a lot trickier. Some of you might be laughing at my ineptitude, but I think I don't have to get both blue and green here. I think I only have to have 16. And there can't be any that don't belong here. And since there are 26 blues, if I send all the blues here, that'll fill up with blue. And then the rest of them will be split between these two, the red and green. Let's see what happens when I hit test run. Let's see if this works. Oh no, see what's gonna happen now is these are gonna fill up. No. Wait, why didn't that work? Ran out of time, low accuracy. Okay, so that's not it. Hmm. Okay, I think I've got this figured out now. For some reason, I was having a real tough time getting this around and around in my head. But uh, if I have done this correctly, then the red ones will go up here and then be split evenly between these two. The blue ones will go directly in here. And the green ones uh, will be split evenly, evenly between these two, and then evenly between these two. And what I'm worried about is maybe too many greens will go in here, and this will wind up full too quickly. But let's see what happens. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, success. Okay. Silver silver medal instead of a gold medal, because I think uh, it wasn't very efficient. It, it wasn't completely full. One of them wasn't completely full. Uh, but I only used two of the three nodes that I was allowed to take. I think I could also have used a trash can for some of the excess ones. But in any case, if I have succeeded, I'm going to accept that. So if I, if I come up here now, I do have the gold unlocked. All right, let's click this and see what happens, and that'll probably be the end of this video. We've got another story. Okay. Eliza first chatbot. Cat's biology and iRobot. Cat mail. We've got Nyan Cat in there. We've got a camera and some kind of TV set. Looks very ancient. This should definitely work. Haha. Uh -huh. Eureka. Cat. The cat has been detected. Alright. Cool. So, uh, this opens up more. Now, it's, there's clearly quite quite a bit left of this. We're 21% through creating a cat speech recognition system. I've got all kinds more levels to do. I'm going to take another look at this and see if I can figure out how to get a gold medal on it. Um, but yeah, this is really cool, actually. This is very easy to use. Uh, I love the idea of visual programming, because I am definitely... Uh, I, I understand things best 
when I can see them with my eyes and picture them as pictures in my brain and where I have trouble with programming and code is where it becomes more abstract. So if I can learn these concepts a little bit better visually, then maybe that will help me learn some actual programming, like just text programming later on. So that's a, I think this is a really cool idea. This is very well made. The writing is, is imperfect, but you know what? You can understand what they're getting at, and that's the most important thing. Um, thumbs up from me. Uh, if true learn is uh, very cool, and I'm liking it so far. So uh, yeah, if you, if you want to pick up this game right here, I will, as always, throw a link in the description below this video. Make sure to click show more so that you can see all the links down there. And you know, if this one isn't your cup of tea, you just don't care about uh, programming cats and machine learning, then you know what? That's all right, because I'm going to be back soon with another new indie game, my friends. And you know, you never know. That one might just turn out to be your new favorite game of all time. Thank you so much for watching, my friends, and I will see you next time. Bye.